What about Pep though? Do you think the hunger is still there, Sean? I mean, I look back at his history. He didn't stay particularly long over at Bayern. He knew when he had to walk away from Barcelona, he said the players were tired of him. He was feeling burnt out. He actually took an entire year off and he went off to live in America, in New York. Do you sense that perhaps we might not be seeing him next season or maybe he might not be in charge of City come the end of the season? Um, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go as far as that. Obviously, his past um, are going to lead people to think what they're thinking. But I think the fact that he stayed shows that he's still got the drive and the passion and demands that from the players. And I think we'll we'll get to that. It's still early days. Of course, we City wouldn't want to drop a point as yet, but it, it's happened. And I think the next game that comes up, they're going they're going to hopefully there'll be a backlash for Leeds. I think it is they play. Yeah, but. It is the last year of his contract, Julian, let's not forget, and he has spoken a little bit about it. And it wasn't so much, you know, whether the club going to offer it to him, but he also wanted to stress whether he deserves to have a contract accession at Manchester City. Yeah, again, obviously the factors are playing to that towards the end when you know kind of where we stand in regards to are we title contenders? Are, are Liverpool going to potentially run away with it again? Um, have we successfully progressed in the Champions League. There's a number of factors that are going to go into that. Um, I'll be surprised if he's not in charge of Man City at the end of the season and it be a Man City decision. Um, if Pep decides to walk away, uh, that is one thing. But I'll be totally surprised if the club decide to, to sack him in, in regards to what he's done, transformed the, the profile and the philosophy at the club. Do you expect to see him in charge of Manchester City next season? Um, yeah, it's hard I, to say. I, I do. You Sorry, do? John. Okay. Go on, Sean. No. Sh Sean does. Julian, what do you say? I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. I'm not saying he's, he's going to leave, but again, the fact that he hasn't got a contract for next season would suggest he's not going to be there. Um, would it surprise me if he signed a new extension? No, uh, totally not. And I hope he does. And I'm sure that um, the board and the owners do because what he's done for the club, let's not judge him on today's performance. Um, the, the recent years and the standard he's set, Man City and the Premier League, obviously he raised the bar in regards to points. Um, Liverpool have obviously raised their level as well. So for what he's done in regards of Man City's profile um, is exceptional. So um, I, I'll be surprised if anyone's totally judging his whole tenure at Man City on today's performance. But aren't we judging him also on a success in the Champions League, of which they haven't gone beyond the quarterfinals under his tenure? As unfair as that yeah, sounds, that's why he was brought in, wasn't it? Yeah, of course. That was the that was the goal. That's the goal for every manager to, to be successful in Champions League. But we're talking. Would we be talking about Champions League if Leicester hadn't beat Man City today? I don't think we would. So we can't just justify his Champions League record on a defeat to Leicester. Okay, Sean. I want to know why you think he'll still be there next season. Julian's just given his reasoning. What about yourself? What's the reasoning for Pep staying? For the, I for just the feel like he, he, for me, he for me he's built something amazing there, and I think it's something that would be hard to just walk away from. Um, and what he's built doesn't just necessarily be based on the fact of the first team. It it goes down. Jolie will tell you to to the academy level where everybody's playing the same way and they demand the same thing. So I think to walk just walk away from that would be hard. Yeah, if he does leave, Jolie. <laughs> Who would you like to see at your former club? I was thinking of names outside just now before coming back into the studio. The one that pops into Brendan my head the most... <laughs> pun? Brendan Rodgers? No, <laughs> not quite, because they would have to pay to get Rodgers. I was thinking Pochettino, because he hasn't got a job right now. Yeah, again, uh, we're talking hypothetical, so it's hard to say who's going to be in and out of a job next season. Um, if he's available, yeah, he's a top manager, obviously proven in regards to, to styles of play, but... One thing you've got to realise is when Pep does leave, whether it's next season in three or four years' time, winning isn't going to be enough because they're used to winning. The, the club, the owners, the fans, it's going to have to be a style as well. So the next managers, it's going to be difficult, whoever that is and whenever that is, it's going to be a difficult one. And we've seen that with the likes of um, David Moyes going to, to Manchester United. When it comes to Pep Guardiola at Manchester City, would you say he's been the best ever since the takeover, what, was it over 10 years ago now? Has he been the best for you, Sean? 
Um, yeah, for me, I mean, like I said, look, look what he's built. Like people are talking now of Manchester City that they're not talking about him winning titles. They're talking about him being let down by not winning the Champions League. So the fact that he's put the club on the map in that way, I don't know how people can look at it in a way where it's a failure. I think he's, the, the project and what he's built is amazing. Jolien? You were there pretty much at the start, just after the takeover happened, right up to about six years ago. Pellegrini, I think, took City to the semis, didn't he, of, of the Champions League. Uh, Pep hasn't managed that, but has Pep been the best of the post-takeover managers? I would say Mancini has to be right in there with that conversation as well. I think winning the first title, um, yeah, Pep has obviously done the double, and that is a ridiculous achievement and so hard to do. But, um, in regards to, to what each manager has done, they've just progressed it. I don't think anyone's been any particular better than the other. Yes, obviously, Pep has reached a new total um, in regards to, to numbers um, for points. But the hardest one for me was to win would have been the first. Obviously, the gap was so far away from Man United now, and, and now it's, it, it's catch up for the other team. So I think every manager since the takeover has played an integral part in the success that Man City helped.